Greetings, it's Maxo Dizzly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate an email address using Kotlin. So, you've got an application and you want the user to type in their email address. We want to make sure what they're entering is reasonable, basically to stop them from accidentally entering something else like their name, and then we can let them know, hey, this is invalid, you should make sure you enter your email address. So let's get right into it. So firstly, you want to do at the top of your code, import jalfa.util.rejects.pattern, as we'll be using rejects pattern matching to validate an email address. And then in our main method, we're going to do val user input equals doc at gmail.com. This variable will represent user input. This tutorial won't teach you how to get user input, only how to validate it. Then we do print line is valid email, user input in the brackets. So we're going to call our validate email function and then print out the result. Let's define it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do fun is valid email. So it's a function and it's called is valid email. The only parameter is going to be called email and it's going to be a string. And then we do a colon and boolean because we're going to return a true or false. True being valid, false being invalid. Inside this function, we're going to do three lines of code. We're going to do val pattern equals pattern.compile, then this beautiful string of text. So this is a rejects pattern. A rejects pattern is short for regular expression, and it's a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in text, which basically for what we're doing is it, we've defined a set of rules an email address must have to be considered valid by our program. In this case, it's some characters, at, more characters, and then a dot, and then our domain. That's what this rejects means. And two things, firstly, you can put this on one line if you want to, but I wanna put it on, on two lines to make it slightly more readable, and also meaning I can zoom the video in more to make the font bigger for you guys to see. But also, this is going to be in the description so you can copy and paste it. So what we do is we do val pattern equals pattern.compile, then this. So we're creating a pattern, and we're going to be assigning this pattern to it. And then we can do val matcher equals pattern dot matcher email. We're creating a matcher object. And then what we do is to do pattern dot matcher email. So we're going to be passing in our string, and for pattern we want to, to compare the string with. And we put that in our matcher object. And then what we do is we do return matcher.matches. So in our matcher object, we're going to check if the pattern and the string match. So does this string follow the rules of the pattern we have specified? And this returns true or false. If it does match, we return true. If it doesn't, we return false. And then this return statement will send that to wherever we call the function. And that's it for this tutorial. So click save and then hit play. So duck at gmail.com returns a true because it matches our criteria for a valid email. What if we did duck at gmail instead? Well, it's false because it doesn't have the, a complete domain, which would be including the .com part or .co.uk. What if we put some random stuff in here? Well, it's also false. What if we did jeff at hot mail.co.uk Well, it's a true because that is a reasonable email. And just remember, these emails may not exist, but they could exist if someone made one. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.